Hey guys, this is what you're looking at, and today's video is on the included and optional mounts available for the Tachyon Ops helmet slash gun camera. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay guys, the first mount we'll be taking a look at here is the included tripod mount. As you see, I have it attached to a pretty simple $2 to $3 tripod as we see here. And all it is, is one block with the mounting nipples and then a tripod screw or a tripod bolt in the bottom, whatever you like to call it. This just twists right onto any tripod. This includes your bigger ones as long as it's the same size bolt. So you could use this as a stable camera if you want to run with it instead of having it on your helmet or have it on a tripod as a cameraman out in the field. And as you see, it just clips right into place and it works as a really small, I don't know if you'd want to use it as a spy camera or whatever use you might have for it. So there you go, there's the tripod mount. Okay guys, the next mount that comes with the Tachyon Ops camera as you see is the contour mount. This is your pretty much your universal helmet mount. As you see here, it can be mounted on the sides or it can be mounted on the top. As you see, I previously being an owner of the Tachyon XCHD, I already had some 3M tape left on my helmet, so I have an extra strip of fiber needed in the future. As you see though, we got our mount on here now. Very secure, slapping it really hard, not coming off. So it's safe to say I don't think a tree branch or anything like that will knock it over. So here's our camera. Always make sure you have this facing top, that way you have right side up footage. This will just click right in place to the mount. And then, if you wanted the extra added protection, the impact arm will fit right over it. So there you go. $90, really professional looking helmet camera with that needed protection you need without taking away from the audio. Okay guys, the next mount we have here, as you see, is the last mount included with the Tachyon Ops cameras package, is the clip mount. As you can see here, it's easily usable for your hats, your the brims of your hats, you know, in general. As you see, it can be moved up and down. And then I got it pretty tight right now, but this can actually swivel off the base completely 360. So, as you see, it's easy to take on and off. And with its adjustability, you can easily attach this to the inside of a shirt, you know, going in through one side like that. If it's a button-up shirt, like a lot of our BDUs out there, or you can you know attach it to Molly, turn this thing around, make it come up like that. So that'd be a nice way to do that. So you know just a very versatile mount when it comes down to it. Now moving on to these optional mounts here. Keep in mind when you buy the Tachyon Ops, you have the option of buying the Picatinny gun cam mount, which is this, and all four mounts, including the two shotgun mounts, the rifle rail mount, and the scope rail mount, with the camera and all the mounts that come with the camera for a total package deal of $149.99 on tachyoninc.com. So, you know, having that many mounting options for $150 with the camera is amazing. So I would suggest doing that if you're going to be buying even just, you know, the gun cam. Because you never know when you might want to have a camera for sniping. Um, this one would be like on the bar tens, how there's a bottom rail that would go right up on that. Or just like any other hunting rifle. It attaches to the one swivel screw that would be right here. And then we have two different shotgun mounts, including one that just attaches to the barrel. As you see, we got room for the, uh, the underpiece of the shotgun, the, uh, the pump guide. And then we also got the shotgun magazine mount, which mounts on the inside where the pump would be moving. So that's really cool. And um, prices you should know if you, if you are to buy these individually. The gun cam itself is $25 and all individual mounts are $15. One thing you need to keep in mind though is to use the individual mounts or the additional mounts, you need the gun cam out. So you're better off just buying the whole package deal if you're just going to be buying one of these. You'll only be spending another $10 to $20 and you'll be getting another three mounts for that price. Okay, let's move on. Okay guys, now we're going to start with our Picatinny gun cam or gun rail mount here itself. We're going to start off with how I think is the easiest way to mount it. First off, we always want to have right, ups, uh, right side up video, so I suggest attaching your mount to the gun first before putting your camera in. As you see, we attached it here. I'm going to show you this way. That way it would be similar if you attached it to a pistol rail to show you the extra features of the gun cam mount. As you see here, we have it attached to the rail. Then you're going to want to put your camera into where it would be right side up, and since it's going on the bottom of the gun, 
we're going to put the camera on upside down of how we're looking at it. Then we're going to get our top to the camera of the gun cam out. And as you see, there's two screws here on the side. All we got to do is tighten them up here with the included Allen wrench. And we're good to go. Also, one feature of this, many pistol users, as you can imagine, would have their trigger guard in the way of hitting the on-off switch. So with this rail mount, Tachyon had the idea of including a button on the side that would activate the camera on and off, as you can see here. It turns it on, and you're ready to go. The next mount, as you see here, is the scoper mount. In the past, being a sniper, I've always had people suggest me, hey, make videos of using a helmet cam while sniping. Well, to be completely honest, I don't like wearing helmets when I snipe. It's just it's just one of those added factors you don't need as a sniper because you're supposed to be as lightweight as possible. And I think this is the perfect solution. One, look at how low, prof low profile the mount is. All we need is just like putting scope rings on is those two screws. We just tighten up the two pieces of the mount together. And then as previously stated, all we do is we attach our gun cam, our Picatinny rail mount, straight to this mount and then we just tighten it up. So there we go. And there's our gun cam. It's not as big as any other or most helmet cameras out there including the size of it with the gun cam out. So it's still really low profile and it makes it excellent for helmet camera or scope cams in this case for sniping. Now going into the last three mounts, I really don't have any examples but I can explain how to attach them. As with for airsoft means for your JG bar tens and you know your guns that have that availability for the bottom rail on the bottom as you know you can buy the airsoft version or you can buy this if you like it's full metal and it attaches just like the other ones with this one screw that would go through the more you tighten it up the less it can move it's common sense but you need to tape it down after you have it set right and then this piece is just used in between the rail and the gun to make sure you don't scratch it up and it kind of forms to the gun. Then you tighten up your screw and there's your bottom rail on your hunting rifles and your bar 10 airsoft guns to attach the gun cam to the bottom of the gun. And you'd use it just like the pistol where you have it upside down to have that easy button on the outside to push the camera on and off if you like. Next one is the shotgun magazine mount. <laughs> okay, that's a kind of a mouthful there. It's made for a 12 gauge. As you see, all, also, all these mounts, if you buy them separately, they do come, all of them come with the same Allen wrench. All of them are the same size. So just an example here, if you didn't have a shotgun, you could attach it to the outer barrel of your gun. Say you have an AK or a gun similar to that, and you don't have a rail system. You don't feel like you want to put a rail system up there. You can just put this mount right up there, and find a way to fill in the gap between the outer barrel and that. Maybe just electrical tape, but I'm going to leave that one up to you. So that would make it a good mount for that if you just want to have it on the barrel of your gun. That way you can have it under the barrel, on the side, or on top. And then the final mount is the shotgun barrel mount. This is the shotgun barrel mount because as you know, this is meant for hunting shotguns. Um, they got that, I'm, I'm not an expert at real shotguns, so I'm going to just call it the little guide rod thing on the bottom of the gun and it's kind of sectioned out that's what this little extra piece is for that way this can fit up there just right and it makes it you know I guess really good for hunting there's really no use for airsoft but hey it's an extra mount can't complain okay guys so that wraps up my mounts video for Tachyon as you as I've already told you for the super package deal available on tachyoninc.com you get all the mounts you see here plus the contour helmet mount plus the 3M tape for the contour helmet mount plus the camera, plus charging cords, plus everything you need to have a great helmet slash gun slash anything action camera. All that for 150 bucks, brand new, you can't beat it. Okay guys, this is what you're looking at. I hope you enjoyed the video. If y'all have any questions about Tachyon's cameras, message me, private message me, I'll more likely get to your questions. Until next time, this is what you're looking at. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out.